Welcome to Decimal Fraction Place Value. In this lesson I'm learning how tenths arise out of division. Let's start with this question here. I've got six chocolate bars which I need to share between five people. So I'm trying to work out how much each person would get. Well, over here you can see I've got my six chocolate bars and you can just see through the wrapping here that each of these chocolate bars is made up ten pieces. And if I go down a little bit further, here are the five people that I need to share the chocolate between. Well, we know that if we've got uh, six chocolate bars and five people, that I'll be able to give each of the people uh, one chocolate bar and some more. So to start with, I'm going to give them all their one bar of chocolate. So there goes one bar for Sam and one bar for Sue, one bar for Steve, one bar for Sal, and one bar for Simon. Now you can see that I've given everyone one chocolate bar, but that I've got one other chocolate bar left over. Now for me to be able to share that one out, I'm going to have to remove the chocolate from the wrapper. So I'll do that now. Now like we said uh, earlier, there are 10 pieces of chocolate bar, so there are 10, cho sorry, 10 of these little pieces make up one whole chocolate bar. So I can call each of these tenths. Another right way to write that would be tenth like that, or like that. So I need to share these tenths between these five people. And I know that ten tenths shared between five people would mean I need to give everyone two tenths. But we can check our answer. If I give two to Sam, two to Sue, two to uh, Steve, two to Sally, two to Simon, and you can see I've shared up all of the chocolate so there's no more chocolate left. And you can see that everyone got one whole chocolate bar plus two tenths so in total they got 1.2 or one whole and two tenths. Let's try another example. Um, this time I've got three chocolate bars and I need to share those between five people. Just like last time you can see I've got my three chocolate bars over here and through the wrappers you can see that they're made up of ten pieces and down here are my five people Tim, Tom, Tina, Tiffany and Trevor. Well, the first problem you can see up here is that I've only got three chocolate bars but I've got five people so I'm not going to be able to give everyone a whole chocolate bar this time so what I'm going to have to do is unwrap these chocolate bars so we'll unwrap bar number one uh, and we'll unwrap bar number two and bar number three and now you can see that that just leaves me with tenths and here there are thirty tenths. I know that they're tenths because it takes ten of them to make one bar so now I'm left with thirty tenths which I need to share between five people. So now I need to work out how many tenths each person will get. Well I know the answer to 30 uh, divided by 5 is 6, so that means I need to give each person 6 tenths. I'm just going to check that by doing that now. So here's 6 for Tim, 6 for Tom, 6 for Tina, and six for Tiffany, which was four, uh, plus these two, which makes six for her. And six for Trevor, which I can do by giving him those two, and these four. So I just gave everyone one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tenths of a chocolate bar which I could record like that or 
like that. Six tenths of one chocolate bar. So three divided by five is 0 0.6. Now let's see if we can answer one without any pictures of chocolate bars. Um, this time we'll have six chocolate bars and we need to share those chocolate bars between four people. So in my head I'm imagining four people and I'm thinking if I had six chocolate bars is that enough chocolate bars uh, to give one to each person? And it is. I could give one to each of these four people which means I would have two chocolate bars left over. So now to share out those two chocolate bars, I'm going to have to break them up so that I can share them between the four people. Well, I know that in one chocolate bar, there's ten tenths. So in two chocolate bars, there must be another set of ten tenths, which means in total, I've got twenty tenths, which I can share between those four people. So now I use my division facts. Uh, what is 20 shared between 4? And I know the answer to that is 5. So that means I can give each of these people 5 more tenths. And we know that we can record 5 tenths as a fraction or as a decimal, 0 0.5. So I'm going to share those out between my 4 people. I'm giving them each those five more tenths. So you can see now that every person got one whole chocolate bar and five tenths. So six divided by four is 1.5. And you might know that 0 0.5 is also the same as a half. So I could say that everyone got one and a half chocolate bars. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. If you need some more help, there is a good PowerPoint um, on this lesson at teachertools.co.nz.